Bright Knight Excelsis, Durandal's mech physical DPS battlesuit. Her leader skill increases the team's physical and critical damage. Her basic attack is melee, has 5 sequences, and deals physical damage. Every hit from the 4th sequence gains an additional 1.7 SP. While executing the 4th and 5th sequences, she gains resistance to an eruption and reduces incoming total damage. By holding the attack button after the 5th basic attack sequence, she's able to use her charge attack, Javelin, to throw her lance forward. Javelin deals additional shield damage and restores 1.4 SP per hit. After Javelin is used, the Bright Knight can resume her combo from the 4th basic attack sequence. When dealing with incoming attacks, the Bright Knight has the ability to either use her retaliation stance by tapping the evasion button without a directional input, or her evasion by tapping the evasion button while moving in any direction. Retaliation not only nullifies the incoming attack, but also deals physical damage to the attacker. After parrying an attack with retaliation, she recovers 10% of her max HP, gains 50% physical damage, and reduces incoming total damage by 30% for the next 8 seconds. Enemies hit by retaliation also become physically vulnerable, taking an additional 10% physical damage for the next 10 seconds. By successfully parrying with retaliation or performing an ultimate evasion, the Bright Knight triggers Focus EX, activating a global time factor and enabling her to use Javelin EX instead of Javelin. Besides dealing more damage and recovering more SP per hit, Javelin EX pulls enemies into its point of impact for 3 seconds. It shares the same 20% shield bonus with Javelin. The fourth basic attack sequence can also be used directly after. By consuming 100 SP, she's able to use her ultimate skill, Septum Regalis, which activates her burst mode. Her basic attack is augmented and still has 5 sequences. By evading forward, she's able to enter her Turbo Jet state. If an enemy is in her path, she uses Turbo Jet Assault, dealing physical damage to it. Her third basic attack sequence can be used immediately after Turbo Jet Assault. By using her evasion skill, colliding with an enemy with Turbo Jet triggers Focus EX, allowing her to use Phantom Cleave. Phantom Cleave is an extremely powerful attack that pulls nearby enemies in, and has an innate passive, which further increases its physical damage. Its less powerful version, Phantom Blade, can be used after pairing an attack with Retaliation while in Burst Mode. Additionally, while in her Burst Mode, the Bright Knight deals an additional 20% shield damage and 30% damage against enemies without a shield. She also gains a passive 50% total damage boost. Furthermore, she stays in an Iron Body state for the entirety of the Burst Mode, which lasts for 23 seconds. When the Burst Mode ends, she has the ability to recover 15 SP. The Bright Knight's unique passive, Paragon, gains a stack each time she is hit, and can be stacked up to 10 times. Pairing attacks with Retaliation gains 2 stacks. Every stack reduces her incoming total damage by 3%. Each stack also gains a 4% total damage boost for 40 seconds. At 10 stacks, she gains yet another 20% total damage boost. When enemies are time slowed by teammates, her QTE can be triggered, entering the field with a strong physical attack, triggering a global time fracture, and gaining 2 Paragon stacks. It is worth noting that she is able to use her charge attack right after her QTE. Her signature weapon, Her Serenity, increases her throw damage dealt while in burst mode by 500% of her attack in physical damage. When equipped by Bright Knight Excelsis, it grants her a 20% critical rate bonus for 3 seconds after a retaliation. Its passive ability grants the wielder an innate 15% critical rate bonus. Enemies are marked when hit by a charge or throw attack, and take an additional 20% critical damage from the wielder. While in her burst mode, a shockwave dealing physical damage will be emitted every 2.5 seconds. The shockwaves are considered ultimate attacks, have an increased 50% critical rate, and can mark enemies. All marks last for 10 seconds. Due to Bright Knight Excelsis being only the second Durandal battlesuit, there aren't many lances to choose from at the time of her release. 
Eos Gloria, which can be obtained from Focus Supply, does not have any abilities that enhance physical damage. The only other two options will be the Plasma Lance and Lucia, both of which can be obtained from the Foundry, but also do little to boost her damage. Her signature Stigmata, Dante, is a physical damage set with decent innate passives, strong secondary passives, but with a defensive type trigger. Its secondary passive ability is named Mantle and Perfect Mantle. Mantle is activated when the host is hit, and Perfect Mantle is activated when a retaliation or ultimate evasion is performed. The T part provides an innate 15% critical rate increase. Activating Mantle provides the host with an 8% increase in physical damage for 10 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. Perfect Mantle provides 16% instead of 8%. Mantle and Perfect Mantle do not stack, and if both conditions are met, Perfect Mantle will be the buff that remains active. The M part provides an innate 30% physical damage increase. Activating Mantle provides the host with a 15% critical damage boost for 10 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. Perfect Mantle provides 30% instead of 15. The B part provides an innate 15% attack speed increase. Activating Mantle provides the host with a 10% total damage boost for 10 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. Perfect Mantle provides 20% instead of 10. The 2 set ability provides an innate 20% critical damage increase. A 30% boost in physical damage for 10 seconds is granted when entering burst mode, and hitting enemies with a charge attack while in burst mode refreshes this buff. In addition, an innate 20% decrease in cooldown for her evasion skill is granted if this set is equipped on Durandal. And finally, the 3 set ability enables her charge attack to impair enemies, lowering their defense by 40% for 8 seconds. When equipped on Durandal, enemies lose 60% of their defense instead. It also grants the host a 30% increase in shield damage when in burst mode. Alternative stigmata include Drex full set, which though not as high, provides a great amount of physical damage and critical rate. It also grants additional total damage and the ability to constantly impair enemies while in burst mode. Another important aspect of Drex is the SP regeneration it provides. Next in line, Kafka's full set, which has good synergy with the Bright Knight as well. Her easy access to charge attacks helps her constantly activate the set effects, and its reduction of incoming total damage works well with her unique passive in tight situations. Kafka, however, does not provide any additional SP regeneration, which will affect her overall DPS. Though not as suitable, Alan Pole's full set, or just T and B, can provide a decent amount of damage. A great M part that can be used with either Kafka TNB or Allen Poe TNB is Direct M. Though lacking in overall damage, Selene Ascendant M is also a good option as it lowers the cooldown of evasion skills and even provides critical damage. In cases where the full sets are unavailable, mixing up the parts from these three sets also works as a viable option. Excluding the previously mentioned sets, other alternatives include Schrodinger Band B for attack speed and SP regeneration, Ekaterina M, which can be easily activated with the Bright Knight's basic attacks, and Jingwei T against single targets. Schrodinger Band B can be replaced with Fuhua Pride B for more immediate damage, but lower overall DPS if the fight is prolonged. Similarly, Lear B is also a viable option due to the Bright Knight's ability to heal herself, but wouldn't fare well in prolonged combat. A cost-effective yet relatively strong option would be Marco Polo's full set. When forming a team around Bright Knight Excelsis, Drive Cometa and the Celestial Him make the perfect team. The Celestial Him, with her easy access to a strong impaired debuff and multiple physical buffs, naturally takes the top spot in almost every physical team combination. Equipped with the 11th Sacred Relic or 11th Liturgia, she provides both critical rate and physical damage to the team in a single action of deploying her cross. Combining that with Gustav Klimt T and M, further enhances the physical damage dealt by the team. The B slot can be filled with Isaac Newton B against bosses, or a number of other B parts depending on the situation. Her ultimate skill is also extremely useful when dealing with multiple enemies, and Fuhua Margrave can be used as a powerful alternative in such situations. One thing to note is that even though the Dante Stigmata set is able to apply the Impaired debuff, it will not override existing Impaired debuffs, allowing the Celestial Hymn's stronger debuffs to do their work all the way to their duration ends. 
Drive Kometa with Star Shadow of Vikran can cause enemies in her crippling fields to take additional total damage. Star Shadow of Vikran's active ability can also reapply debuffs like Isaac Newton B. Additionally, Beethoven M fits incredibly well into the equation, providing additional melee physical damage for teammates when Drive Kometa switches out. Theresa Gluttony T works well as the last part of the combination, but can be replaced by Beethoven T in stages like the Abyss, where 90 SP is provided at the start of each battle. Night Moonbeam with the Positron Blasters is also a good option. Gustav T and M with Isaac Noon B work well with her, but Tesla Band T and May Beach Party M can replace the T and M slots if the other support is already equipped with Gustav. If Night Moonbeam is replacing the Celestial Him and paired with Drive Kometa as the support options, Drive Kometa can also equip Briarius EX, allowing her to skip using her basic attack and assume the role of impairing enemies. Additionally, Briarius EX also allows for any other Bronner Battlesuit to fill the role. The difference, however, is Briarius EX's channeling ability, allowing the wielder to stay on the field. This allows Drive Kometa's shield to reapply debuffs like May Beach Party M and Isaac Noon B. Cost-effective support equipment include the full set of Theresa Origins, Tchaikovsky T and M with Ogier B, and any two parts of the Fuhua Musician set. While Bright Knight Excelsis is strong when fully powered, she can be very costly to build. Even though she can draw from a large pool of stigmata, her weapon options are strictly limited, especially since the lance is a new weapon category. The addition of new physical lances will definitely make her more beginner-friendly, but at the point of her release, she might not be the best option for newer players. Though the same can be said for her support options, that doesn't contribute as much to her early game viability as building supports will affect DPS battlesuits across the board. And finally, being neither a Hyasha nor a Quantum type, Bright Knight Excelsis can be further limited in certain situations by her type disadvantage. All in all, Bright Knight Excelsis is a powerful physical DPS and excels in prolonged combat. Even though her damage is locked behind a 100 SP activation requirement on her ultimate, her natural SP regeneration rate is able to alleviate the issue, making her also viable against bosses. どの戦闘も全力で戦います。